Hello, 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 folks, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. I need a voucher to edit my character. Hey, hey, Durgan. Is it true you're a hunter now? Wow, that's so cool. Listen, see everyone who comes in and out of Kimura since my shop's parked in front of the main gates. You can count on me to keep a keen eye on things in Kimura while you're out hunting, okay? Good luck. How are things? Maybe a hunter, that's going on, but I got a pretty cool job too. Top secret mission from out of Fugan. Goes in the village gates if the rampage gets too close to Kimura. <laughs> Said, and I quote, Save the Kimura is in your very hands. Uh -huh. Even there's a proud twinkle in his eye. Yeah, that is actually a pretty hefty job. Though, to be fair, I'm not sure how well those gates would stand up against some of the beasties. People were talking about it before and claiming, like, cannons just... You know, don't... Don't kill them. It's like, stuns them. Like, these things are like forces of nature. They just, like, ravage entire ecosystems in, in the process of moving from A to B. Oh, hi, Durgan. Congratulations on becoming a hunter. Being rice merchants, we don't so handy to know how to hunt, but the tea shop uses our produce. Still indirect as a role may be in your hunting career, but my husband and I are cheering for you. Are you eating well? Hey, Durgan. Durgan, hey now. Congratulations to you, becoming a hunter and all. You won't find weapons, armor, and of the sort here, but it's funny dango for hunters are made from our rice. So in a roundabout what kind of way, my wife and I st will still be helping you out there in your hunts. See ya. And even if they weren't, like, providing food for us, they are still doing food for, say, the blacksmith over here. So it's just like... You know, to have hunters and shit, you, you need a whole support network. You need equipment people, you need... You know, like, this merchant here is helping. He needs food as well. You know, he needs accommodation, so builders, merchants... It takes a village. You know? I'm being very dramatic about it, but, you know. It takes a lot of work to, ha to have a, you know, a, a hunter or a knight or what have you, you know? It, people may not be helping out directly with it, like provide, being the blacksmith, but, you know, they're... They're the reason the blacksmith has a house. They're the guy who brings him his materials. You know, they may take care of the that merchant, the deliverer's horse, or, you know, donkey or whatever. They're all helping it in their own way. Hey, hey Durgan, heard you're hunter now. Congratulations. The rampage on the way, Master Hammond's real busy, which means my apprenticeship is on hold for now. Wow, with all this free time, I can focus on mustering up the courage to talk to my beloved Hino. Oh, Hino, shining light of Volkamura. My rave sunshine, huh? She, she can't hear me, can she? Oh, it's you. Failed to take your means of protection seriously. I won't last long out in the field. You can imagine why. Prove your armor by upgrading it here in my smithy. Make sure to bring the needed armor spheres with you. I'll start you off with a few as a beginner's gift. Use them to upgrade your gear. This facility where you can use your materials to gather to upgrade and forge new equipment. Round up all your quest for the monster bits and bring them to me. The rest of any equipment you'd like to forge or upgrade to which list it's to me. Once you collect all the materials, you'll be notified. Ooh, that's nice. Ho hover over any equipment, then press G to add it. My hammer's ready. Every armor piece has a level. Use armor spheres to add the upgrade points required to level up a piece. Level a piece up. This will improve the item's defense without changing its appearance. Maximum level of each piece of armor will vary. Its level cap will increase as you progress. In addition, different armor spheres will grant different amounts of points. One, two, 
trick. Haste makes waste. Take all the time you need. Signature Kimura headwear. All village defenders sport this dark blue attire. Divine blessing. A Kimura staple. Comes with shuriken to show off to your friends. Signature Kimura arm guards. Bound with red cord to very white weight. A sash to conceal all manner of hunting tools via no nonsense design. Leg armor that fits the user like a glove for the foot. Made of local materials. Run two. I do like you get to see that going up. That does appeal to me. Gotcha. Right, let's get cracking. So now got a eight more armor. Insects for insect glaives. Um, long sword, sword and shield. Weapons can be created at Smithy. It's like the weapon of forge created from scratch or upgraded to a stronger form using that weapon as a base. In either case, both materials and money are needed. Guard materials and stats increase will depending on uh, will vary depending on such a weapon. Upgraded weapons can be rolled back to the original state. Choose a weapon with a yellow arrow next to it from the Smitty's weapon tree, and select roll back to return the weapon to the way it was prior to upgrading. Clear spent for will be recouped. Some as uh, scraps material uh, type upgrades were used. Forge weapons cannot be rolled back. So is that for the new expansion, or just I'm not high enough level yet? Ooh, bone tree. Monster bone ass. Mm -hmm. That entire attack and defense uh, has a defense bonus. Okay, this has a different sharpness. Green, yellow, orange, and red. This is just yellow, orange, and red. Hmm. Great sword. It's crafted especially to fight off calamity. Modified so anybody can use it. Great sword made of monster bones. Designed to emphasize destructive power. Twenty five percent on each. No element on either. That has a lot higher defense. Three piece bonus. Four. Eight. All resistances plus one, two, and three. Same with this. And provides all of the skills that I currently have. Okay. My hammer's ready. Oh, this is what I'm using. I'll give what I try. Um, I'll keep using this for a bit more to try and get used to it. Durgan, so here you're a hunter. So I hear you're a hunter, meow. For elicitations and congratulations. If you need buddy equipment, then look no fur, der. The smithy looks forward to your future patronage, and your buddies too, of course. As a little token of my thanks, I'd like to present you with some scrap that you can use to forge buddy equipment. 
Promise me you'll take it and get your buddy some spiffy new equipment. The buddy smith forges buddy gear from scraps. There you can make equipment for your palcos and palamots. Palmoots. You can also exchange certain monster materials for scraps. Try now next time your material rich and scrap pool. Sometimes cutoffs will be generated when creating hunter equipment. These will revert to a scrap. Scraps. These scraps can be used to create buddy gear. Make use of your extra scraps to make some armor for your buddies. Just gonna take a picture to show mom. Corn the day keeps monsters away. Customary slashing weapon favored by feelings. A solid bone is placed at its edge. A head armor made out of a monster's skull. Awaken to Palco's wild side. Look wild, smell wild, then go wild. The citizens of the Kimura love almost as much as their home. A dummy sword made from sturdy Kimura timber, light and easy to swing. find new materials, bring them here to me. I'll make you the best buddy equipment for miles around. Got it? Great. Amura de Oil. Ruff, ruff. Uh, good to see you, Durgan. How's the hunting life treating you? There's something I'd like you to do. On top of your normal monster hunting duties, that is. If you ever hear of any villager having trouble, why don't you lend him an ear? If he can help, lend him a hand, too. I know it's all uh, a sudden and all, but don't worry. Got something nice and easy to get you used to it. I need you to bring me something. Think you can do it? Come back and see me when you're ready. Quests are the type of side quests from, uh, uh, from people around the village, indicated by a blue speech bubble. By selling small monsters, delivering items, or ways fulfilling the villagers' wishes, see various rewards. Remember to talk to the person after completing the request. Deliveries require you to deliver an item to the requester. By talking to the requester, you can view your list of deliveries and hand over items by pressing F. Count to items that are automatically delivered when gathered. Well done, steak. Fulfilling requests is part and parcel of a hunter's work. Here, try tackling mine. Every journey begins with the first step, and yours with these wooden star quests. Take care of them, and we'll go from there. We're, we're all we're all looking forward to seeing what you can do, Hunter of Kabur Village. So where the hell do I get that? Welcome to my shop. Do I have to go out on a hunt for it? So how to? Oh. Let 
I don't remember the controls. I'll go use this again. Walk on. It's Q. Perfect. I know it's not what I was looking for, but I'm happy just to know it now. Okay, we'll do it that way. So what's going on in there? Seems like you're having fire for some reason. Yartan, I command you to fuck. Sitting here twiddling my tongue since Master's too busy. Uh, while I'm doing that, not, maybe I ought to try my hand at becoming a hunter like you. Come think of it, taking on quests would be a perfect opportunity to talk to my puppet Hinoa. Right now, bad idea. Freeze up like a dummy if I ever try to look her in the eyes. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm pathetic. I was stuck like that. You're such a beauty. Counting on you, little friend. Sending one pictures of them. Yeah. Buddy board. I was set up two buddies to come here on a quest as well manage the equipment. All things buddy can be configured here. Buddy skills.
Okay, let's get a let's get a job. to stab something. How about maintenance? Sure, we'll try you. Upon initial visiting the location, it will be obscured by fog, spelled as you explore. No monsters or monsters you never hunt before will be indicated with a generic icon on your map, but once you come in contact with a monster, generic icon is replaced by their unique icon, who will mark it on the map for you. From that point on, the unique map will be displayed on your map from the start of your quest. Right, so focus on your mini-map or your targets. Go get a maze. Order Bunny Dango to teach up to gain extra health and stamina, and even activate Dango skills if you're lucky. Though, wear off once you complete a quest or return to Kamura. You can eat while you're in a tent as well. Which Dango skills is activated, as well as its possibility of activating difference for each Dango. You can aim for particular effects by making use of Daily Dango, which changes from quest with each quest. But the right one for the job. Meals, including Daily Dango, cannot be eaten during the quests. Some more points. To steal? Oh well. <laughs> Look, I'm a loot whore. What do you expect? Ooh. Excuse me. Come on, it's hardly that um tilted. Ooh. Missed one. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how you say it. Thank you. To kill eight of these. Wow. 
No, no, wild wire, wire bug. It's yours to use. Wow. Until it flies off. Are these enemies? Sure. Are we to fight these? Like, can we, or are these, like, not actually hostile? Look at, uh, look at all the precious items hiding around here. Poke. Too dead. I shall put this to good use. Bama Gaddy? Body food is prone to bursting into flame, emitted when in danger. Wait, what? These cow people are hostile. I wasn't aware they would end up fighting any. Sadly, I cannot skin them. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. I shall put this to good use. Uh, move. Fell iron material. First aid, medium. Forty latch berries. Excuse me. Jagras. Uh, Jagras scale. Famous for its vivid hue and ease of handling. I shall put this to what is it, a golf club? Ease of handling. I'll help myself, thank you. It's easy to work with, making it a great choi choice for novice craftsmen. Let's have a close up. Uh, four monster bone S's and two twisted remains. Stink mink. Extreme to have a pheromone capable of attracting monsters. We more monsters first by using stink mink, then approaching a monster. Once you detect a pheromone, they'll follow you until the fact wears off. 
Monsters lure state achieved either by enraging them or using Stink Mink will go after the player for limited time. You can thus lead the monster, but it may lose track of you when moving to areas where it can no longer pursue or you're too far away. By luring a monster in proximity to another monster, you may ha have them fight or wrestle over territory. You can result in massive damage between them, or even have them go into a mountable state. Come across the Stink Mink. Use it to lure your target to another monster and watch the man unfold. Mm, I just want you dead. I couldn't really lock on there. I'll help myself, thank you. Oh, uh, rocks. Alteroth? Uh, stomach and transparent sack cut from Alteroth's abdomen. Uh, used to store who knows what. Hard to find mushroom that can generate heat. Generate blazing heat. Bombberry, which is on impact, used to make cluster bombs. Jesus. There's so much he here that it can be used to make explosives or, you know, ammunition. Ivy. Nest for pit, uh, pitfall traps. Nets. I just need to get used to the controls. Excuse me. It's set to live a millennium. Combine with other items to add their properties to the powder. Iron ore. I kind of walk on. Pardon my insolence. Sharp call. Cool. I'll help myself, thank you. Tail. Gathering can be so relaxing. Go up and three to the flat and use a wet stuff.
No Nyx. Revive my trusty weapon. Beautiful. Marley, stop burrowing through the tree. Husk. Barry. Three large barrels. Monix's Let's gatherings. Has in store for us. Mm. Let's have a closer look. Drunken master. All according to plan. Excuse me. Looks useful. Said that it was a deadly. Hard to make far casters. Very nice shoot, soft but firm, very tasty. Maybe you, you can only walk on to larger enemies. But I'm just the type that prefers to walk on to whatever I'm fighting, no matter the thing, unless it's something truly insignificant. Jesus. down here. Granted, there's more behind me, but I was literally just there. Excuse Is the game that me. aggressive with respawning? Found the perfect thing. I'm so happy. Blue mushroom. Oh, Jesus. Hey, yeah. Do that. Wrong button. I shall put this to good use. Charcoal. Pardon my insult. Just a scavenging to do, damn it. Uh for making water ammo. Big one. 
This looks like a good spot. The village needs me. Items plundered. Paw print stamp. Ayin cur currency stamped with a paw print. Letters written on it are foreign. All raw stomach. Raw meat. Pouch. Ooh. That was my wrist. Iron ore. Earth crystal. Brew mushrooms. Honey. More potent mega potion. Cool. Buddy one Marley. Accumulated level level three. Not quite following that. Um So I assume it's the normal like XP bar and whatnot. It's just the phrasing of it's different, that's all. 